Uprooting the Past, A Journey to Understanding. Hello, and welcome to our channel. Today, we're diving into an intriguing English phrase, uprooting the past. This expression is rich in imagery and meaning, and by the end of this video, you'll not only understand its literal and figurative dimensions but also how to use it effectively in your conversations and writings. Let's embark on this linguistic journey together. The phrase, uprooting the past, combines two powerful words, uprooting, and the past. To uproot something means to pull it out by the roots, which is often a forceful, thorough action. It's commonly used in gardening or agriculture to describe removing plants, weeds, or trees completely from the ground. Metaphorically, it suggests removing something completely from its familiar or established place. The past, on the other hand, refers to events, periods, or experiences that have already happened. It encompasses history, memories, traditions, or anything that existed before the present time. When we put these words together to form, uprooting the past, we're talking about a process of delving deep into historical or personal backgrounds and removing or confronting elements that may be unpleasant, outdated, or harmful. It's not just about remembering or revisiting the past. It's about actively engaging with it, often with the intention of bringing about change or healing. This phrase can be applied in various contexts, such as personal growth, therapy, historical analysis, and social justice, for example, someone may talk about uprooting the past when they are dealing with personal trauma, or a society may seek to uproot the past by addressing historical injustices. Uprooting the past can be used both literally and figuratively in English. It's a versatile phrase that enriches language with its vivid imagery and deep meaning. In writing, this expression adds a layer of depth and emotion to narratives, essays, and discussions, especially when talking about transformation, renewal, or healing. In conversation, it can express a commitment to thorough change or the intensity of an experience, making conversations more engaging and meaningful. Examples The new documentary aims at uprooting the past of the forgotten heroes of history. Through therapy, he began the painful process of uprooting the past to heal from his childhood experiences. We hope this exploration of uprooting the past has illuminated its significance and utility in both personal and collective contexts. This phrase is a powerful tool in the English language, offering a way to articulate the profound process of confronting and transforming the past. Thank you for joining us on this linguistic journey, and we look forward to uncovering more treasures of the English language together. Happy learning!